A soldier survived mustard gas in battle. Pepper spray from the police is now known as a seasoned veteran. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so a lot of people are having problems with mouse toggle for Fire TV. So this is going to be like the ultimate guide. So we're going to show you which version you may want to install on your device, how to fix it if it's not working, and then also how to use the different button functions when it's activated, so how to scroll up the page, down the page, select, turn it on, off, things like that. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right then, so first of all, we need to install mouse toggle, obviously, because if we didn't have it installed, then it probably wouldn't work. <laughs> so this is going to work for Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, and Fire TV Cubes. So first of all, what you need to do is go to Settings, go down and all the way across to My Fire TV. It may say Device for you, and once you click on that, you're going to see it says Developer Options. Make sure that Apps from Unknown Sources is turned on, and I always allow the ADB debugging. So once I've done that, I go all the way back home. The top left hand corner, you're going to see the search icon for the Amazon store. Simply type in downloader or DAO. And then underneath, you will see it say downloader. The orange box there is the one you want to download and install. If it doesn't download and install, it's more than likely because you don't have any bank, de any bank details. Who's Annie? <laughs> it's more than likely because you don't have any bank details registered to your account. Although it is a free app to install, they do sometimes require those details on there to be able to use the store. I'm not very good at talking. I am aware of that. So you do have to bear with me. <laughs> right, so once you've got downloaded, I always go into it by going to settings applications, manage installed applications, and then you're going to see you've got downloader. So once we launch the application, you're going to have to make sure you allow the permissions. Very important step. And then click OK. On the left hand side, you're going to see it says settings. Make sure you enable the JavaScript if it's not already. We'll go back home on the left hand side and enter this URL exact as I type it. Right, so as you can see, let's crack on .org. Once you've done that, you're going to click on Go. You might have to pause the video just while you enter that in and then just start playing me again because I'm always here for you. You know that, don't you? <laughs> right then, so once that's loaded up on the left-hand side, you're going to see the hamburger menu. So when we click on that, it's going to bring you up the options and you want to click on Downloads. If you find that clicking on the hamburger menu isn't working, click on the three-line button on your controller and then go down to full screen mode, and then you can see you can access all the menu on there. So we're going to scroll down until we see Mouse Toggle for Fire TV. It's under the Downloaders and Tools section at the top. 1.52 is obviously the newest version of Mouse Toggle. You've got 1.11, and you've got 1.06. The 1.06 version I've always found works for me, but a lot of people have had to try using the 1.11 version. But there are three choices there for you to choose from. So if you are finding that one isn't working for you, go ahead and install another one and see if that one works any different. So as I said on the 4K Fire Stick for this one, I'm going to click on the 1.06 version. Scroll down until I see the download button. Click on that. And then you're going to scroll down the page and then you're going to see it's going to start downloading in a few seconds. Right, so once it's finished, it will start downloading automatically. As you can see there, it's a very small file as well. And then we're going to click on install. Get a couple of moments, click on done. A very important step is make sure you delete the files from downloader. If you do forget to do this, go to the left hand side and see files. Long hold, hit delete, done. Save a lot of storage on your device. So once we've done that, we're going to scroll down and you're going to see now you've got mouse toggle version 1.06. So now we're going to jump into an application and try it and see if it works. Right, so a lot of you will already know mouse toggle is only really required on applications that are made for touchscreen devices. To activate the mouse, you double click the play button. And as you can see, there's nothing coming up for me. And this is the usual problem that you are going to find. So now we're going to go and fix it. So if you go back into your applications and find the mouse toggle for Fire TV app, Click on the launch application and simply turn off 
This is important as well. Click on always allow and OK. And then the top two sliders, we're going to turn those off. Click on where it says ADB settings. And then wait for the top slider to come back on. And then click that back on, that back on. Then in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see it says starting. Nine times out of ten, it's going to stay saying starting. But don't think that this means that it's not working. I always leave it when it says starting and that's it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go back into his applications and launch an app again. Right then, so once we load the app up, hopefully when we double click the play button this time, it will come up. Right, so as you can see, it's still not working. So what we're going to need to do is this is where people are experiencing a lot of problems just thinking it's not working. So we've got to go back into the mouse toggle application, click on launch, turn off those again. ADB settings, I'm going to click that a few times just because I feel like it and I'm a bit pissed off it didn't work the first time. Click the top two sliders back on, click back out of that, launch the application again. Double click the play button and there you go. Now you can see it working. It's on the screen. I don't know why you have to keep taking those steps, but it does seem that it fixes it every time for me. Although a lot of people are probably doing it once and thinking, well, it's not worked. Do try that again. Go back in there. Bash the living daylights out of it. Just keep pressing it and say, whoa, why aren't you working? It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> Right then, so to work the mouse toggle app, you double click the play pause button on your controller and that will activate the mouse. As normal, what you're going to use is the enter button to click on things, so click on the middle button there, that'll obviously click it. To turn off the mouse toggle, long hold the play button and then click a direction and you'll see the mouse will go off. Double click it again to turn it back on, but you're going to see when you scroll down the page it just stops. Very simple fix for this, and I love how it works. The fast forward button, so the right arrow, that'll scroll down the page. And then the three line button there, the hamburger menu on your controller, that will scroll back up the page. Obviously, the mouse toggle app is very, very popular for Showbox, but this is going to work inside any application for you. So that is really the ultimate guide for mouse toggle. First of all, when you're installing it, do bear in mind which version that you are installing. The 1.06 version always seems to work for me, but if that one's not working, try the 1.11. If that one's dog shit, try the 1.52. If you're using a Fire TV Cube, you may have to go into the display settings and set the resolution to 50 hertz, I think. But try those steps first, and it should work for you. So if you do find that the mouse toggle isn't working as we've just seen, go into the mouse toggle app, turn off those two top sliders, Click the ADB settings and it should be done. If it doesn't work again, go back into the application, the mouse toggle, start smashing it and just press it loads of times. <laughs> go back into the app and it should be working. The functions, double click the play pause button to activate the mouse. Scroll down the page with the fast forward arrow. Scroll up the page with the three line button, the hamburger menu. Select button is as normal. And to turn off the mouse, long hold the play button, then click a direction. Any other problems you are experiencing, anything else where you think, whoa, that's not working, he's just a knobhead, really comment down below and I'll be more than happy to reply to you and we'll try and get it fixed for you. Because there's nothing worse than trying to get something working and it doesn't work and you just grab it and just go, I'm fed up, done. But yeah, that's why the comment section is there so you can get more help if you are having more problems. So I do hope this video helped. Do make sure you like the video and share it around if it did help you and you do think it will help other people. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've just hit my microphone and nearly broke it, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon next to it. That'll give you a notification every time I upload a new video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for tuning in. New one there. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Without you. Remember myself, my name